Television uses radio waves to send sound and pictures. You might also receive broadcasts through a cable or via satellite. The sound is captured like a radio broadcast. For the pictures, a TV camera scans down the image in a series of lines that are recorded many times per second and converted into electrical signals. Analog picture signals are sent as varying waves. Modern digital broadcasting sends signals in a coded form that allows many more programs to be broadcast in the same amount of bandwidth. When the signal arrives, it is converted back into a picture on your TV set alongside the audio track. In older TVs, the video signal sends a beam of electrons down a cathode ray tube to the screen. Electromagnets move the beam from side to side to reproduce the lines that were originally scanned by the camera. As the lines change, a moving image is created. The screen is covered with red, blue or green phosphors. An image is formed when the electron beam lights up some phosphors while leaving others dark. In TVs with liquid crystal displays, or LCDs, there are many thousands of pixels in the screen, each of which can become red, blue or green. The pixels in plasma TVs contain tiny fluorescent lamps. LCD screens typically contain three times as many pixels compared with the equivalent in a cathode ray tube. In high-definition TVs, the number of pixels is doubled again. And now, super-high-definition sets are being developed that have screens with 32 megapixels, a hundred times better than the cathode ray tube. Standards from ITU have made it possible for high-quality images to be broadcast and study groups look at all aspects of delivering TV to your home and across the globe.